My aunt has to be the most opinionated. She's just like me. If we don't like something, we'll definitely say we don't like it. Open your eyes. I hate it. Her bridesmaids weren't supporting her, but from what I can see, her bridesmaids are being really supportive. Is any of her family here? I think it's better. Do you not think it looks the sparkle? It looks more bro I'm talking too much now. I feel like a muffin in this dress. <laughs> Very much. <gasps> Look at that face. All right. Yeah. Come with me. Started now. Come with I'm me. I'm going to be crying all day. I love you. <laughs> I love, I love you. you again. Number four, Jessica's journey. Jessica, a radiant bride-to-be, embarked on a quest to find the perfect wedding dress. With her mother and maid of honor in tow, she entered the bridal salon, a woman of strong opinions and a clear vision in mind. Her fiancé, the epitome of patience and her best friend, awaited the outcome with eager anticipation. The journey to her dream dress was not without its challenges. Over the past nine months, Jessica has undergone a remarkable transformation, shedding 60 pounds and embracing a newfound sense of confidence. As she stepped into the salon, her heart sat on a gown that would showcase her slimmer figure and make her feel like a vision on her big day. With a budget of $2,500, Jessica's expectations were high. She tried on the first dress, a contemporary design that hugged her curves and accentuated her new silhouette. Stepping out to show her entourage, which included her opinionated mother and equally assertive maid of honor, Jessica beamed with confidence. However, not everyone shared her enthusiasm for the gown's shape. The conflicting opinions sparked a whirlwind of discussions. Enter manager Nichols, a seasoned expert in bridal fashion. With a keen eye and a deep understanding of what suits each bride, Nichols confidently asserted that the dress was indeed perfect for Jessica. Second choice, but I still I love the first one. Hands down, this is your wedding. Yes. <laughs> My aunt has to be the most opinionated. She's just like me. If we don't like something, we'll definitely say we don't like it. However, so is her entourage. It's a maybe for you, it's a no for me. Yeah, I definitely don't like it in the stomach area. Yeah. It just accentuated my stomach. Despite her entourage's reservations, Jessica found herself torn between her own conviction and their collective feedback. Opting for another option, Jessica tried on a traditional dress, hoping to appease her entourage's preferences. To her dismay, while they liked the gown, Jessica couldn't shake off her disapproval. Annette, Jessica's aunt, echoed her sentiments, adding to the dilemma. As tensions simmered, Nichols took charge, advocating for the first dress that had captured Jessica's initial admiration. With Jessica trying it on once more, the salon became a battleground of differing opinions. Her mother's support wavered, but eventually, Lucia, her mother, softened her stance, recognizing the sparkle in Jessica's eyes as she wore the gown. In a beautiful moment of unity and collaboration, guided by Nichols' expertise and Jessica's unwavering confidence, the entourage found common ground. They all agreed that the dress Jessica had fallen in love with was the perfect choice to grace her on her wedding day. It was a decision that reflected not just Jessica's style, but also the bond and harmony within her close-knit circle. With excitement and anticipation, they looked forward to seeing Jessica shine in the dress she adored, marking a significant step towards her special day. Amidst the trials and tribulations of dress shopping, Jessica's journey was a testament to the power of self-assurance, patience, and finding harmony amidst diverse opinions. As she twirled in her chosen gown, radiating joy and anticipation, Jessica embodied the essence of a bride ready to embark on a new chapter, surrounded by love and support. Jessica, that is extremely flattering. No, it's not. Do you guys need glasses? I feel like a muffin in this dress. Very much. Look at that face. This is it. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. you look beautiful. Number 3. Katie's Quest for Confidence Katie embarked on a poignant journey to find the perfect wedding dress, accompanied by her mother and mother-in-law, eager to witness her radiant transformation. With a desire for lace and a touch of pink, Katie's vision for her wedding attire was clear. Yet her journey would prove to be a whirlwind of emotions and choices. As she stepped into the bridal boutique, the designer was taken aback by Katie's unconventional request for a dress reminiscent of a man's attire. 
Undeterred, the designer presented a gown that aligned with Katie's preferences. However, as Katie tried it on, her entourage's lukewarm response cast a shadow of doubt. A mother and a bit oversized, Katie longed to rediscover her confidence, especially post-birth. Amidst a series of trials and a torrent of uncertainty, Katie navigated through the options with introspection. With each dress tried, her heart whispered its preferences, sensing a resonance with her essence. She gracefully declined further trials. In that pivotal moment, she embraced a dress that spoke volumes about her journey, a symbol of newfound confidence and inner beauty. It was more than just a garment, it became a tangible expression of her evolving self, radiating authenticity and poise. Katie's decision was not just about choosing a dress, but about embracing her truest self with unwavering conviction. So, wedding dress-wise, explain sort of what sort of thing you might be after there. Floral. Open your eyes. I hate it. Surprised, shall we say, as to why she wants to be totally covered up. She wants to dress like a nun. I like it, <laughs> but there's just something about it that I don't like. In the midst of chaos and conflicting preferences, Katie's journey mirrored the complexities of bridal dress shopping, where personal preferences, body image, and external opinions intersect. Ultimately, her unwavering spirit and openness led her to the perfect gown, embodying the radiant bride she envisioned on her wedding day. Number 2. Emily's Colorful Conundrum Emily's journey to find the perfect wedding dress was anything but smooth sailing. As she sat down with consultant Brandy, her excitement mingled with apprehension. She poured her heart out about her fiancé, her dream wedding in her grandpa's backyard, and her desire for a yellow-themed celebration. However, the harmony she envisioned was quickly disrupted by the disapproving murmurs of her bridesmaids, especially Laura, whose relationship with Emily seemed to ride a roller coaster of highs and lows. The mention of yellow seemed to ignite a storm of dissent among her entourage, leaving Emily feeling isolated and unsupported. Brandy, the ever diplomatic consultant, urged Emily to showcase her vision of yellow, hoping to bridge the gap between her dreams and her bridesmaids' reservations. Yet, as Emily paraded dress after dress, tensions mounted and insults flew freely, shattering the harmony they sought. The conflict reached its peak when Melissa and Stacy donned dresses that Emily vehemently rejected, sparking further discord among the entourage. Laura, with her affinity for conservative styles, seemed to draw Emily's ire, especially when reminiscing about her own wedding where Emily's dress was deemed less than flattering. In the midst of chaos, Brandy found herself at a crossroads, grappling with Emmy's sharp criticisms and the bridesmaids' attempt to be supportive. The chief designer's intervention was a turning point, fostering open dialogue and understanding between Emily and her entourage. Emily and I definitely have a lot of difference in taste. I think yellow's a little crazy. Yeah, no, definitely yellow. Her bridesmaids weren't supporting her, but from what I can see, her bridesmaids are being really supportive. Is any of her family here? I feel like I just looked at dresses for my wedding not too long ago. With Laura, it's been a crazy roller coaster. Reflecting on the tumultuous journey, it became evident that Emily's frustrations were rooted in a desire for validation and support, which she perceived as lacking from her bridesmaids. Brandy, with her keen insight, labeled Emily's behavior as nasty, recognizing the need for empathy and compromise in bridal dress shopping. Despite the storm of emotions, the entourage eventually found common ground, crafting a bridesmaid dress that blended Emily's vision with the bridesmaid's comfort. The journey, though rocky, culminated in a moment of unity and understanding, reminding everyone that weddings are not just about dresses, but about the bonds of friendship and love that endure beyond color choices and disagreements. Number 1. Empowering Plus Size Bridal Journey When it comes to finding the perfect wedding dress, the journey can be filled with excitement, anticipation, and sometimes a touch of anxiety. For Helen, a size 22 bride-to-be, the prospect of choosing her wedding gown feels like navigating uncharted waters. With her wedding to Ben just 10 months away, the pressure mounts as Helen steps into the world of bridal shopping for the very first time. Accompanied by her steadfast companion of 30 years, Catherine, Helen enters the bridal boutique with a mix of trepidation and hope. 
The designer, keenly observing the bond between Helen and Catherine, recognizes them as two peas in a pod, a testament to their enduring friendship and shared experiences. Helen's aspirations for her wedding dress reflect her desire to feel confident and beautiful. She expresses a wish for a gown that flatters her figure and complements her style. Despite her hopes to shed some weight before the wedding, Helen has faced challenges in her journey towards self-improvement. Her concerns about her weight are palpable, yet she finds solace in humor, often laughing off her insecurities. So I'm excited to I be am. Here. I'm a little bit mixed of excitement and nervous. This is our first time trying on a wedding dress. Ooh. I think it's better. Do you not think it looks the sparkle? It looks more bright. I'm talking too much. All right. Yeah. Come with me. Started now. Come with I'm me. I'm going to be crying all day. I love you. <laughs> I love, love you. you again. As the designer guides Helen through the selection process, Catherine, acting as the maid of honor and Helen's pillar of support, understands the emotional hurdles her friend faces. The biggest challenge, Catherine believes, lies in Helen's ability to confront her reflection in the mirror to see herself as the radiant bride she truly is. The moment arrives as Helen tries on her first wedding dress. Emotions swell within her, mirrored by Catherine's own heartfelt reaction. The designer notices Helen's struggle to confront her image, recognizing the deep-seated insecurities she carries. Yet, amidst these vulnerabilities, Helen's resilience shines through. With each dress she tries, Helen begins to unwind, slowly letting go of her apprehensions. Catherine, attuned to Helen's comfort and confidence, echoes the designer's sentiments, affirming the magic of the chosen dress. It's a dress that not only flatters Helen's curves, but also embodies her spirit and inner strength. In the end, the dress Helen selects is more than just a garment, it is a symbol of her journey towards self-acceptance and empowerment. With Catherine's unwavering support and the designer's expertise, Helen steps closer to her wedding day with newfound confidence and radiance, ready to embrace the beauty of being a plus-size bride. That's all for this video, folks. See you next time.